was about 32 years old when I first noticed my first breast lump and of course, you know, scared stiff, ran to my gynecologist and he aspirated it. Even though she's been haunted by the possibility of breast cancer for the past 25 years, Karen says life has been good. Married for 39 years, she and her husband have a beautiful suburban home and another up north where they're often joined by their two sons and their families. Still, there's been that nagging concern about her breasts. I've had so many breast lumps in both breasts. I've had aspirations, I've had excisional biopsies, and you know, it's always been stressful. Finally, several months ago, she had one more biopsy of some clustered microcalcifications. A couple days after Christmas is when I got the news that I had DCIS breast cancer. At first, the recommendation was for a lumpectomy and radiation, but then a pathology report showed the cancer had broken through a duct wall and her doctors urged Karen to have a bilateral mastectomy. It's a hard decision because you're losing part of your body. But then I had to think, you know, I am I could be free of that stress that I've been living with for all these years. And um, I just felt it was the best decision for me. You know, um, I didn't look back. But there was still another question. I said, gee, should I have reconstruction? And they said, oh, most definitely. You're still young. Dr. Kaiser was recommended, and Karen was already familiar with the name from a conversation okay. years earlier with a nurse in another doctor's office. Okay. She had had something done, and she said he's a great man, you know, and she said we use him. Uh, we, you know, we recommend him to our patients. Janet in Dr. Kaiser's office took Karen's call. And she was so calming and just so accommodating. And she got me in the following week. Then Karen and her husband met with Dr. Kaiser. He's a very calming man. He's very, you know, low key. He, you know, he's, he's got a great bedside manner. And we spoke with him and then he took me in the room and examined me. And he said, you're gonna look great. Everything's gonna be fine. All the surgery, the mastectomy, and the first stage of reconstruction was done in one long day. The general surgeon takes care of the mastectomy, taking everything out, the tissue and everything. And then Dr. Kaiser comes in and he puts in the, the expanders, or they call them temporary implants, I think. With a couple of days of bed rest at home, Karen was up and around. After working for years at a construction company, she was now doing secretarial work from her home office, but she did not get back to that for a couple of weeks. And then there were regular visits to the doctor. After the surgery, you have to be expanded. You go into the office every week or every week and a half after, and he expands you with the saline solution. It's a gradual process, you know, 50 cc's or 100 cc's when you go in, depending on how much you can handle. In terms of size, Karen had been clear about what she wanted. I told him I wanted to be smaller like I was when I was young. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, I'm a lot smaller than I was before the surgery. Um, that's what I wanted. The process took several months and was not without complication. At one point, one of the expanders had to be replaced. But through it all, Karen says Dr. Kaiser was steady and caring. He just makes you feel like everything's going to be all right, you know. And you're in his hands, and I trusted him with my life. I mean, really, I did. And everyone in the office was helpful. If one of the girls couldn't give me an answer, they would find out from Dr. Kaiser and give me the answer right away. You know, um, I can't say enough about the girls. I mean, they're, I feel like they're family. Finally, when the time came to replace the temporary expanders with permanent implants, the doctor asked if she was ready. And I said, I sure am, you know, and <laughs> so uh, he said, well, I'll see you in surgery. I did remember waking up as I was being wheeled out, and I just said to, to somebody, I said, well, how do they look? <laughs> and they said, great shape, <laughs> you know. 
So how does Karen herself feel about the results? I'm very happy. And I can't say enough about Dr. Kaiser. Uh, he's just wonderful. I, he's wonderful in every way. He's caring, he's considerate, he's compassionate. You know, um, and he's been doing it a while. So he's, he's a perfectionist, I think. You know, he wants the best. He wants the best outcome for you.